starting with Greece, first of all. Speaking from memory, I believe uh, Commissioner Armstrong was very clear uh, during the most recent visit to Athens that there is a problem in Greece due to the fact that a detention is often applied in an indiscriminate fashion and that it is applied to asylum seekers as well. European legislation, as it is currently in force, allows for detention of asylum seekers, allows for them to be held in closed centers in very limited cases. That is already the case in limited circumstances. And this is something which we've now defined more clearly in the new European package, the European the common European asylum system, which member states are now setting up, and that has to be in place by 2015. We've hemmed it in even more strictly. We've confined it to very exceptional cases when this can take place. That is, when detention is necessary. When the, the person detained benefits from this solution, for example, you may have an asylum seeker who at the same time may happen to be a victim of trafficking in human beings and may be threatened by someone where there is reason to fear for the health and the life even of the person concerned. In those circumstances, it would be possible for the person to be held in a closed center. That could be considered. But apart from that, asylum seekers may not be held in closed centers. And detention of illegal or irregular migrants, immigrants, must also take place within the limits laid down by the directive. So those are two different scenarios for refugees and asylum seekers. But that is what the European legislation says, that they, so they can't be detention there. But on the other hand, you have illegal immigrants or irregular immigrants. And there you need to look at the specific circumstances, but the general rule is that the returns directive applies. And I would remind you briefly that the returns directive makes provision for the possibility that an illegal immigrant may be held for a maximum of six months, and that period could be extended up to 18 months in exceptional cases. So that's the basic structure of the rules which have to be respected by the member states. Now, we know that in Greece, unfortunately, there is a problem regarding detention of asylum seekers. And on a number of occasions, we've drawn the attention of the Greek authorities to the fact that this is by no means in keeping with European rules, far from it. And something else that we've done is that we've proposed to the Greek authorities in view of the need for them to house a significant number of asylum seekers, they need to be able to accommodate them. And we've suggested that they work together so that certain funding which is still available could be utilized for refurbishment as we call it in English, refurbishment or rebuilding of asylum seekers centers. And we're now looking into this to see what we can do about it. But here again, we need to be absolutely clear as to what, where the responsibilities lie. Member states do have an obligation to accommodate and house asylum seekers in a humane and dignified manner.